Elder, Innate Passage. Or Innate Passage by Elder. You get my point. Uh, yes. Okay. Y'all know I like Elder. Sense Reflections of a Floating World. I was very disappointed in Omens. Um, I liked the Eldevar. I thought that was them stepping in the right direction. It seems now with this record, I was, after having heard Endless Return, which is the second track on this record, I was very ha I was very pleased um, with them sounding more like what I liked about Reflection of the Floating World. The rest of this album, it seems they haven't completely ignored the that more synthetic, synthy, progressive rock, synth prog aspect of what they were doing, but I think they found a way to tone it back down and allow the rest of the instrumentation to breathe and just make it a part of it um, in a way that feels like they're back into the reflections of a floating world element and what they learned with how to handle the synths properly from their last record with their Chanel Devar seems to have approached here. And, um, I like most of what is happening on this record. Um, Endless Return I still think is one of the better tracks. Coalescence is pretty solid. I feel like the track Immersion in Dreams, Knee Plus Ultra is pretty darn good. And the purpose isn't a bad closer. Though overall I will say, if you miss what happened with Lore or Reflection of Floating World, you'll like this record, though I won't say you'll love it nearly as much as those records. But it makes up for Omens. Very, 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 very much. If you want a good, psyched hard psychedelic, progressive, rockish, but still sort of doom metal y kind of record, uh, yeah, you, especially if you are more interested in like that Crack the Sky, Mastodon, or maybe Purple Era, like, and stuff like Purple Era. Baroness, I think you'll, um, which uh, don't, which can be sort of eh, in in terms of that, but certain aspects, I guess, of that that do connect and work well. This record has some of that um, feel to it, um, but with way more clearly more doom centric vocals, um, or the Ozzy sort of Ozzy Osbourne worship of doom centric vocals, um, but other. Uh, overall, I it's the the tracks are long. I mean, they're it's like most progressives, but it's a good fifty four minutes worth your time. A good for a long drive. It definitely feels like it for sure. Um, uh, though I would still rather highly recommend Lore and Reflection of the Floating World first before listening to this thing. Though I'd almost recommend having to listen to Omens to understand why this album works as well as it does as opposed and why Omens doesn't. And I feel like this is the album we should have gotten instead of Omens, personally. Um, I will give, I I will say it. It's a horns up. I don't think it's gonna make my top 10 of the year, uh, but it will definitely make a high honorable mentions. Uh, I'm very pleased leaving with this record and I hope that some of you were as well. What did you think of Elder's, initi Elder's album The passage. Uh, Nate passage, what did you think of it? Leave a comment below, let me know. Sorry, I was distracted with something else. Uh, but it's all, and uh, if you like this video, write the like button, thrust, you must hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. As always, guys, keep it random, keep it real, keep it rock, keep it real, keep it rocking. I will see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Take care.